Ranger Kuki, and I'm here at Roy's Archie Shop. I have my very, very important knife that I love and, and cherish. But I've been using it very much, and it's kind of a little rusted here. And I'm going to give it to Mr. Roy to give it a nice sharp edge and clean it up for me. It's a little rusted. So here you go, Mr. Roy. Okay. We just check it out real quick and see the condition. It's got some spotty rust. This is car It's a Mora knife. It's a Swiss knife. And it's a carbon steel, Swiss carbon steel, and you can see the spots of rust there. So uh, why don't you come along with me and we'll just see how, how we're going to do this. All right. Let's... Be careful, Sean. Don't step on the alligator. <laughs> Okay, this is my little bucking wheel, and we're going to use a little abrasive here because we want to clean it up before we sharpen it because it, it can be less dangerous that way. Now, this is some coarse polishing compound, and it's to clean up some of that rust. So you do have some pitting here, so we won't be able to get all of it off, so you'll be able to see quite a difference. This is a bucking, a bucking bench here. You have to be very, very careful by using these high-speed buffers. Because you can grab the blade and cause a, cause a real problem. coarse compound. We'll use and get a lot of that rust off. You can see a little difference right away. But you do have some pitting in there, so remember pitting is is below the surface of the steel, so sometimes that can be hard to remove. That was our coarse abrasive, so now we're going to go to something a little more finer grit. And you can see it's coming around pretty good. With a nice knife like this, it's always a good idea to not completely remove the, the pitting because we still have some patina from using this knife. Okay, now we have it cleaned up really good so now we're going to go to our sharpening department and follow me right this way we'll go to my studio this is my knife making machine and sharpener Okay, we 
we're going back to the sharpening station. I believe this is where our cutaway comes in, John. All right. Okay, we're now at the finishing department, so we have a good bar from our sharpening belt. We have a good bar, so we're going to hone that bar off. This is a diamond sharpener. This is the medium grip. These diamond sharpeners really do a good job. Diamonds have a crystal shape, and they have like fine sharp points on them, and they give a good, a good tooth to your, to the cutting edge. That makes either a good skinning knife or, or a wood carving knife. So we went, we went from the coarse. The, a medium coarse. Now we're going to the fine. That will smooth out that the grind lines from the coarse. And then we go to our strop, which is leather with a stropping compound applied. And if you notice, when we were sharpening off the diamond, the cutting edge was going into the diamond stone. Now when we strop, the cutting edge is going to trail the stropping. So we're going to strop and flop. Strop and flop. And that should give us a good cutting edge. What do you think? I think you did a very fine job, my good friend. You it really am... have a little pitting, but compare this with the first shot in the beginning, and you'll see that that's a knife that's been used, and then now it's as good as new, ready to go to work again. Well, thank you, Mr. Roy. Yes, sir. Well, there you have it. At Roy's Archie Shop, he can sharpen a knife, razor sharp. I could probably shave. I'm not going to touch my face with this thing. All right. You've seen it from Mr. Roy. He, can, he got a blade. He's, all right. I'm Ranger Kuki. I want to say thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoy this new video.